It was a picture book town in the heart of America. Comfortable old houses surrounded by flowers, quiet shaded streets, and a business section where almost everybody knew almost everybody. Most spring days, the loudest noise was the buzzing of the bees. Zinnia, Ohio, was totally unprepared for the wrath that was to descend on it and strip the town virtually naked. April 3rd, 1974. The weather had been unsettled all day. We'll keep you posted as we get further information from the United States Weather Bureau. By mid-afternoon, tornado conditions were reported in the surrounding countryside. The severe weather forecast is in effect and will remain in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. Let's take a look now at these clouds as they are forming in the distance. This is looking toward the west-northwest of the Channel 6 studios. You can see a great deal of turbulence in these clouds. They're dipping, falling, rising once again. I don't know what that's from. All in all, it looks now as though we might just have uh, rather severe conditions on our hands. These clouds continue to swirl about us, sometimes dipping, sometimes rising. The winds have picked up considerably in the last few minutes. If you look down near the horizon now, John, uh, this should be to the right of your screen. You'll see some more dust or smoke being picked up. From here, it appears to be along the river bottoms. So there's a great deal of turbulence right within this area. Now, now we have another uh, appearance of a funnel. Yes. Can, you, can you swing around and get that, please? Uh, oh, that is a funnel jack and a big one. It just seemed to be all around us. It got black as night and the air felt funny and there was this god-awful noise like a bunch of freight trains. It sounded like the sky was full of jet airplanes. It reminded me of a bus song. Most people take what shelter they can find. Some venture out for a better look at nature on the rampage, unaware that the winds in the center of a twister can spin over 500 miles an hour. Teenager Bruce Boyd grabs his parents' 8mm camera and points it out the window. It was spooky, but what a sight. I guess I didn't realize till later what could have happened. It wiped out a house just across the street. Moving through Xenia on a diagonal path that is sometimes a half mile wide, the tornado strikes at random, smashing some buildings into splinters, but leaving others untouched.
called it the finger of God. Others, the tail of the devil. No one could remember anything like it. Later, no one wanted to remember. It was just like some big thing pushing at me. It was funny how quiet the dogs got. We should all be dead as what? We lost everything we had. But until you've lived through it and seen the real thing, you just have no idea. Got in the car and went home. I thought it'd be the safest place, but when I got in the door, the house fell in on us. The tornado that hits Xenia, Ohio, is only one of over a hundred twisters that played through 11 states that day, claiming 300 victims before they dissolved. Kids are still don't want to go to bed. They're afraid that maybe another one's going to come or... Uh... Or maybe they just won't wake up again. They just don't know what to think. It's it's really scary. As a matter of fact, out here in our backyard, we had a set of blue jays and a set of cardinals and the squirrel that climbed the tree. There weren't there was no birds. All there were was people and trash. Amazingly, only 33 people lose their lives. 1,000 are injured, over 2,000 homes are destroyed. Some of the debris is carried 200 miles north before dropping out of the sky. An editorial in the Daily Gazette says, great communities have come from tragedy. When asked how he was going to start, one old time resident said, one stick at a time. Ohio Grit will have to see them through. There is very little else left. We'll make it. The, the birds are back already. The, the trees will take longer. The house? Uh, we were thinking of building a new one anyway. <laughs>